everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and welcome back. I am here today with the curated bead box for the month of November 2020. And as you can see from this label and the picture, our theme is called Autumn. So we're going to look at some warm fallish tones. And we have the list of everything that's included right outside the box as well. You can also plug in these SKU numbers at their sister site, DollarBead.com and pick out these types of items on their own outside of the subscription. Like it says here, they also have a finding starter kit inside, so it includes a lot of the materials you'll need to get started to make some projects. And it's another reason why I recommend this particular subscription, especially for newer beaters. And those who aren't very adventurous when it comes to different shapes, or you're mostly interested in stringing around beads. Before we crack into it, I have a coupon code for you. It's OOJ35%, and that will save you 35% off your first month if you'd like to try it out. So I will leave that as well as the link to the subscription box right down below the video. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look. And as you can see, everything is in our bundle. And there's a little peek at all of the strands and bags we're gonna look at today. Of course, we'll look at everything one at a time so you can get a close-up view of everything inside. All right, so the first strand we have is pretty long. It says it's 13 inches, and usually when you get these chunkier beads, the strands are a little bit shorter, but there's a ton of beads on here. These are 12 millimeters in size. And as you can see, they are just slightly faceted, and the tone of these is a shade of honey gold. So just a lot of those to work with. Our next strand says these are 12 millimeter carnelian duo style glass beads and this is a six and a half inch strand so about half the size of the first one we just took a look at. And you can see that these are supposed to be imitating stone type beads. They have the look of veining inside and how some parts of the bead kind of take on slightly deeper or lighter tones depending on where you're looking and how stone beads are all just a little bit different. So from afar, at least, it's supposed to make them look a little bit more stone-like than plain glass rounds. This next very long 16-inch strand contains some round mink glass pearl beads, and it says these are 8 millimeter, but they really do look like 6 millimeter to me. They're a little bit smaller than another 8 millimeter strand I have over here. But either way, they're actually a very nice tone, neutral. I would describe it as a very light blush copper or kind of like a rose gold. And they're just basic glass pearls. I don't see any chipped paint, any scratches or anything like that. They're not going to be Swarovski quality, of course, because that's not what you're getting in this box. I would say this subscription is more about getting larger quantities over quality, and that's what you're paying for. You're not paying a whole lot of money for the subscription, but you do get a lot of things to play with, and that's another reason why I recommend it for newer beaters. Next up, we have another 16-inch string. This time, these are the 8mm Yellow Team and School glass beads. I always like the feel and coating of the Team in School glass beads. They feel very smooth and glossy. You can see they do get a little bit whitish at the holes, but as for the rest of the beads, the color is nice and vibrant, and I haven't had any issues with the color rubbing off or flaking. So this adds a pop of some bright yellow to go along with our orange and gold and some of our neutral tones, and definitely can see that fall theme taking shape. Next, we have a strand of six millimeter yellow brown spot marble style glass beads. You can see the combination of the yellow and that very dark brown. So each bead is about half and half with that color combination. And then it looks like it has also been coated with an effect to make it look like the paint color has pulled away in some of these areas, giving it that speckled look. Next, we have a strand of six millimeter drizzled bronze glass beads, 10 and a half inches of these. They are slightly metallic, kind of a burnt orange color, which does not come all the way to the holes. It gets a little bit lighter there, as you can see, and then it's got that drizzled effect that you can see when the light catches it in certain angles. 
adding another look of texture and some detail to what otherwise would be plain round glass beads. Next up, we have a strand that they're calling Cherry Jade Style. So these again are made to look like jade gemstone beads. Of course, they are glass and it's a beautiful shade of berry red with a little bit of an orange undertone. Another color that complements the autumn theme. They're very smooth and glossy as well. I don't see any issues with how these are drilled or the color and you get a whole lot to work with. And then our final strand in this particular month's theme is this one called six millimeter pale gold faceted glass beads. This is a 12 inch string and you can see these rounds have the faceting on them which pick up the light nicely when they are moved around slightly like I'm doing. They're very smooth and uniform and offer a lighter shade of gold to go with the rest of our box contents. Besides our strands, we do have a couple of bags. The first one is this one here, which is pretty dusty inside. It says that they are 12 millimeter peach druzy style glass beads and there's approximately 15 inside. And that dirtiness inside the bag, it's just due to some of the coating, which is normal with this particular type of glass bead and how they have that druzy style and etched effect. When they rub against each other, they're gonna cause just a little bit of that dustiness to kick up inside the bag. But if you just wipe them off with a slightly damp cloth, they'll be just fine. So you can see how they are a bit electroplated. They have a slight metallic rainbow shine. And in some areas, they're a little bit smoother like that, and it is done on purpose to give these that druzy stone-like look. Our next bag contains some gold and yellow and also brown glass beads in this mix, and it says there's approximately one and a half to two ounces inside. Looks like some lampwork beads. Again, the bag is just a little bit dusty inside, so we'll take it out and see how everything actually looks. And that's better. Here's everything in my hand, everything that was in that bag. And we've got a couple of sets of these lampwork glass twists with the metallic, like it said, a combination of gold and brown, more of our autumn-like tones. And then this one right here, that's really pretty. It looks like a leaf. It's got some other colors inside as well and some great movement and how it's cut a little bit on the edges. Looks really leaf-like to me. Then we have a couple of rounds. We have this little square. All these mixes are gonna be just a tad bit different, but that's about what you can expect. Finally, besides our findings, which we'll take a look at, we have two bags of these 10 by 16 millimeter silver leaf charms. There's four charms in each bag, so there's eight in total. Here's a look at these, and they are in that antique silver tone. You can see the front and the back are just a little bit different. It's nice that they included eight of these. Now, the Finding Starter Kit that we received this month is in tones of gold, so it might have been nice to have some gold leaf charms to go with those findings if you're newer and you're trying to put things together cohesively. Not that you couldn't put a silver charm with gold findings, but I know most people like to coordinate those. So that's just one thought, but I do like the fact that the leaf idea kind of follows along with our autumn theme. So here's the finding starter kit, and it's going to contain some stringing materials and other findings that you need, which you can use to make some finished projects based on items that have come in the box. So as usual, we start out with our stringing materials. We have a bag of stretch cord. You can make yourself several stretch bracelets with that. We also have a bag of bead stringing wire in this gold tone. Great for making a necklace or two. And also some gold tone memory wire. Another good option for stringing, especially with the types of materials that you get in this subscription. Besides that, you get some earring findings like your fish hook ear wires and your head pins. And you also get some bags of lobster clasps, some crimp beads, and a bag of jump rings in the coordinating metal tone. And these switch off between silver tones and gold tones typically in this subscription. 
this month just happened to be gold. So that is everything this month for the November 2020 curated bead box. Don't forget I have the coupon code OOJ35% which will save you 35% off your subscription, making it only $13 shipped to your door for the first box. So if you wanna try it out, I think that's a great deal for what you get. The box has been very consistent as far as the types of things that you receive. It's just the color palette mainly that changes from month to month. And like I said, it's not a box full of the highest quality materials or anything like that. It's just a great starter box or gift for somebody in your life who you know that might want to get into the craft of beading or if you're just looking for some basic glass rounds to supplement your stash in all different colors, you'll certainly get that over time. So I want to give you guys a huge thank you for being with me to check out this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if it was helpful for you, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And please feel free to subscribe while you're there. I'd love to have you following along with me for lots more beading videos to come. Below the video, I also have links to all of my social media handles. You can follow along with me on those and check out my website and blog at orchidandopal.com. I have more bead boxes to share with you for the month of November, so stick around and stay tuned for those. I'll see you again real soon. In the meantime, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. I hope you're staying healthy and creative. And as always, happy beading. Mm -hmm.